Moving, rippling water looks great as a cinemagraph. A popular genre with many of our flexographers, this tutorial will teach you how to effectively loop and crossfade your water for seamless motion. First, you'll want to adjust the frames of your video. By watching the waves, you'll want your first and last frame to look almost the same. Next, you can start to loop your video. You can bounce or repeat the movement. To have a more realistic loop, use repeat. The key to a successful water cinemagraph is the crossfade. As you can see, a longer crossfade will blur the frames together. And with no crossfade at all, the movement is very jumpy. The delay creates an element of surprise. Don't use this function if you're looking for a smooth, natural loop. For this cinemagraph, I'll want to lower the speed down so that it creates a really dreamlike and smooth wave. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any ideas for a new tutorial, please let us know.